BMW is born. What lies behind the application submitted to the Imperial Patent Office is the decision to produce engines as well as vehicles, ships, and aircraft. In the beginning was the aircraft engine. The first development, the Model 3A aircraft engine. The famous von Richthofen squadron is equipped with them in the last year of the First World War. Everyone is talking about the 185 horsepower engine. It gives the German fighters 25% better climbing power, which makes them superior in dog fights. After Germany's defeat in the war, everything is dismantled at BMW 2. Soon they're producing agricultural machinery just to keep the company going. World high flying record in 1919. Sitting behind the development of the BMW Model 4 engine, Zeno Dima climbs to nearly 32,000 feet. Sensational Paris Motor Show, BMW R32. The first motorcycle with a flat twin engine and shaft drive. Soon, motorbikes with the blue and white badge are dominating the racetracks. Experience in sport gives a fillip to technical advances. The Dixie. In 1928, BMW takes over the Eisenach vehicle factory and builds an improved Dixie. This little car finds many buyers. At the same time, BMW establishes itself in motorsport with a victory in the International Alpine Rally a year later. A Zeppelin on rails, 100 miles an hour fast, powered by a BMW engine just like the Dornier flying boat, the Whale, in which von Gronau makes his round-the-world flight in 1932. reaches the fantastic speed of 173.5 miles an hour, a new absolute world record. Fourfold victory for BMW in the Mille Miglia. Huschke von Hanstein repeats the success in 1940. The 328 victories make their mark on the motor racing of the 30s. Back to square one after the Second World War. The Allies order all armaments factories to be dismantled. However, this setback provides a chance for a new start. Production begins again in 1948, along with the current Zurich engine. The first post-war motorbike receives a festive presentation. Nearly 10,000 R24s are built in 1949 and around 17,000 the following year. BMW starts building cars again in 1951. The tradition attached to the name provides encouragement. A laborious start though for the Munich designers. The presses are running again, but the consequences of post-war dismantling are plain to see. Finances are tight. The crisis-prone world political situation has also made raw materials expensive. The first BMWs are powered by six-cylinder engines. Then, BMW presents its unforgettable 3.2-litre V8 at the 1955 International Motor Show. German Grand Prix at Nürburgring, Schorsch Meyer at the starting gate. He was already famous as a BMW rider before the war. His greatest triumph was on a compressor-blown BMW on the notorious Isle of Man TT circuit in 1939, when he became the first German to win the 500cc class there. 
Jean Schmeier remains successful for BMW after 1945 too. He wins the German championships alone five times after the war. Sidecar racing. BMW team streak ahead in this class, a victory sans pareil. Also connected with BMW are big names like Bigel Krauss and Bernhard Huser, Wilhelm Noll and Fritz Krohn. A look at the company image in the 50s. This giant automatic drill press is capable of spreading up to 60 holes in a single operation. Really a technical miracle. This steel member withstands exceedingly high stresses. Not before the load has been increased considerably beyond the design limit will this material yield and fracture, using pressures up to 1,400 tons to form high-grade sheet steel into the component parts of the coachwork. This painting plant is one of the most modern of the entire European automobile industry. The test bed where all engines have to go through the third degree. The heartbeat of an engine has also to be tested. The BMW Isetta, one of the best-selling cars in Germany at the time. This maneuverable two-seater with its door at the front is only seven foot six long. A BMW motorcycle engine gives it a top speed of almost 55 miles an hour. A rear-engined BMW 700. It's also the first BMW in all-steel monocoque construction. It becomes the first real post-war sales success in the early 60s. The production run-up for the so-called new class in 1962. The BMW 1500 awaited with great interest by the motor car world. It sets new technical standards in medium-sized cars in the design of both the engine and the suspension. More powerful versions soon follow, the 1800 and the sporty 1800 Ti. These models were aimed at the field of motorsports, for example, the Monte Carlo Rally. BMW has a hand in writing the history of motorsport, and motorsport leaves its mark on BMW, its vehicles, and its corporate image, an endurance test for the company on the racetrack. The start of the international 12-hour race at the Nürburgring. Number 14, Hanna and Eppelein in an 1800 TR. They drove the fastest training groups. The verdict at the end of this race for the German circuit championships, class and overall victory for the Bavarian motorways. And this is how BMW looks in the 60s. with the tradition of the 30s and 50s. And in the 
the 70s, things are looking even brighter. A new factory is built in Dingolfing. The former glass motor factory had been taken over at the end of 1966. It turns out to have been a good investment. Once the existing building has been renovated, the new production shop is opened in November 1973. A new model rolls off the lines, the Hype Series. Racing optimizes series models, a company motto. The entry into the racing business with Formula 2 engines in 1973 is a success. Ten years later, two-thirds of all Formula 2 racing cars have BMW engines. A flirt with BMW, the image of the 70s. is subject to rapid change in the 80s. The engineer now designs a vehicle at the graphics terminal. Computers help him design parts here in the new research and engineering center. The company now has six locations. Munich, with the company headquarters. Landshut, for plastics and component production. Dingolfing, where all models are assembled. Berlin, for motorcycles. Engines come from Steyr in Austria while the newest factory is in Ravensburg. It's one of the most modern in the world. The factory was officially opened in 1986. Robots are part of everyday life here. Swivel pendants make assembly work easy. New products cause a stir. The 5 Series is presented in January 1988. The new 7 Series was unveiled a year earlier. to the 90s, a new decade which has already started with the introduction of a new outstanding dream car, the first 12-cylinder coupe built in Germany in more than half a century. Introducing the 850i, BMW is entering a new dimension in its long heritage of sporting coupes. 1991, the new 3 Series adds the final touch to BMW's new range of models. Never before has there been more safety and vehicle protection in the BMW midsize range. Regenerating impact absorbers virtually eliminate the damage otherwise caused by minor bumps. Controlled deformation keeps the passenger cell stable even in the event of a severe accident, offering the driver and his passengers optimum protection. Brand new and highly sophisticated axle configurations derived from BMW's top-of-the-range models set new standards in terms of motoring comfort, also in smaller cars. will be the decade of relaxed motoring and genuine style. Move 
mobility for the individual and sheer driving pleasure will remain the principal demands made of the automobile in this decade. But increasing attention will have to be given to the problem of environmental protection. This will lead to all kinds of new solutions. Old cars should not simply be thrown away, as they're an important source of raw materials. Accordingly, BMW is one of the first manufacturers with a pilot plant for developing automobile recycling concepts. At this plant in Landshut, cars are taken to pieces, the various materials are separated and prepared for being used again in a new car. The know-how gained by BMW's recycling specialists in this process goes into the development and production of new, yet more environmentally friendly vehicles. Even today, for example, various components of the new 3 Series are made out of recycled bumpers. Catalytic converters are also recycled at the end of their service life. BMW and its dealers paving the way for this new philosophy in Germany. 1990 was also the year of the catalytic converter for motorcycles, the BMW K1 being the first machine worldwide to be equipped with a three-way catalytic converter. Considering the limited space available on a motorcycle, this can truly be regarded as a masterpiece of engineering, and further models in the BMW K series will follow this example. October 1990. 45 years ago, BMW had to leave the town of Eisenach in Thuringia, where the first cars with the white and blue symbol were manufactured just next to the famous Wartburg. From 1928 until the end of World War II, BMWs were built here. Now, one day before the official reunification of Germany, the foundation was laid for a new BMW factory, producing large tools just next to the old factory buildings. And the company is even taking a further step back to its roots. Together with Rolls-Royce, BMW is developing and building aircraft engines once again. A new factory is to be constructed for this purpose in Dahlewitz, south of Berlin. And in 1991, the gas turbine engines developed by the two companies will be presented to the public. The BR700 range of aero engines. The most powerful will be used in short and medium haul passenger aircraft with up to 130 seats, while the smaller engines will serve to power business jets. BMW's philosophy of sheer driving pleasure is now really flying high.